In this video, we're going to be going over PA wide receiver in out of the gun tray open, why it's one of the most slept on plays in Madden this year, and how you can use it to be an elite passer in this game. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they can become. So if you want to get better at this game, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. And uh, it's completely free to subscribe to the channel. It just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here in the channel. Now this play is a lot of fun. We've been in the gun tray open. If you want to get my full gun tray open guide, all you got to do is sign up for my true fan membership. There's going to be a link down in the description. It's five bucks. Five bucks gets you all of the content, all the videos, all the breakdowns of this. And this gun tray open is a beast. It also gets you access to all the content that I'm going to be doing for Madden 22. So if you want to get access to all of my up, most up-to-date stuff, that's the best place to get it. So five bucks a month, real cheap, and uh, I think really, really uh, a good deal for you guys. Okay, so let's talk. Um, we're talking today about PAY receiver in from Gun Tray Open. We're in the Vikings playbook, and uh, this is my favorite play, especially when my opponent is doing this right here. You're going to see them do this a lot. He's going to use a right in here. Why I like this play so much is because it's going to get underneath a third. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to smart route the circle receiver. And honestly, that's really it. You don't have to do anything else with this play. The one thing that I like to do personally is I actually like to create mesh posts. So I'm going to put a table route and I've got two, whip, two drags. The reason I like the double drags is because it's going to hold their user underneath. So you'll see right here, these two drags are super good. Um, Evans is, I don't know what Evans is doing, but it's open. The two drags are always open. There are two routes. This route to square um, is one of the most simple, but yet like overpowered routes in Madden history because every zone gets affected. Oh, I'm sorry, I ran base. <laughs> um, every zone gets affected by this drag. If it's a hard flat, so they've got to have two hard flats, and they've got to have at least two yellows, and maybe even a spy to stop square. That's why I like it so much, because now what you're going to get, and you, if you wanted to, you could slant him. But I love the double drags. They're just simple. Just simply throw it, man. Just trust it. It's really, really good. Um, you know, the drag is my first read, and, uh, you know, I'm a little bit different. But the snap throw drag to the left is my first read every time. And the reason why is because they are either going to get the table route or the drag. So seam flat, you see how he sucks in? I can throw this table route every time. Every time I can throw that table route. Now, if you don't want to throw a table route or you don't have hot route master, please pay attention to this next part of the video. This is so important. Um, if you don't have a uh, hot route master, that's fine. Put him on a wheel route, and the wheel route might even be better than the than the underneath. Watch the wheel route. He sucks in, wheel route's outside. That's an easy read. It's easy read. Easy, easy, easy read. So what you're going to force them to do is they're going to have to do curl flats on both sides. Most people don't want to do curl flats on both sides because curl flats leave them susceptible to curl routes. They leave them susceptible to hitches. They leave them susceptible to... Um, um, like post routes, they want seam flats because seam flats play inside and out. They kind of play slants and they kind of play flats. They kind of, they're, they're tweener zones. But now watch, now we force them to run a curl flat and watch square. Wide open, right there. Boom. Every time. Your drags are so important out of this offense and you have to understand that um, because they set everything else up. You're in tray open. You're spreading the field. So use the whole field. Really important. Okay. Anyways, back to this um, double drags. So the next thing is like if they're running two curl flats, square is going to get open like right over here. Okay. And I love that about this. Um, this is why, this is really why we like the wheel route. And I didn't get at this yet. So this is the biggest reason why I think this wheel route is one of the most underrated routes whenever you're running mesh. This is why it's so dang good in real life. Watch these wheel routes. So um, watch watch the linebacker here. Okay, watch the linebacker. Uh, Stamp of the ball, go. He's on a curl flat. 
Look how he's climbing, he's climbing, he's climbing, and then he bails on the drag. He'll actually bail on the route. So if they're doing what a lot of people do out of Mad uh, in Madden, and in, in that's to drop this guy, and then they're going to sit here, and then they're going to go up to circle. This is a late read. It's not an early read, but I want to—I really want to show it to you because it's so good. This curl flat, watch him. Wait, wait, wait. See, there he goes. Now I'm just passing this up, and I'm getting about 15 yards every time. As a late read, right, as a check down. So huge, huge point. Um, they have to put a seam flat out there to guard that. If they don't want to put a seam flat out there and they put a curl flat out there, it's going to be a dot. Uh, let me show you a seam flat just so you can understand what this actually looks like. You'll see here I put a seam flat out. He won't match as well, but he also won't play the flat as well. So I can still check it down easily. Um, so anyway, that's that's that. So now let's talk about the backbreaker route. So once we get them to have to come down and we really get them to respect the fact that there's two drags coming right now. There are two drags coming right now, and they've got and we've got this route right here to triangle, which is really stretching. It's really pulling this guy back. So he's sitting on the drag. That's where we can basically low ball or throw this ball to circle. You have to understand that it is so important to smart route that route. It is so important to smart route that route. If you don't smart route that route, I can't help you if you throw interceptions. You will throw interceptions if you don't smart route that route. You've got to get it underneath. See how deep it is? By smart routing it, look how low it becomes. Okay? I smart routed it. It comes lower. And now look where he's at. Pass lead inside. He gets way underneath that deep third. Way underneath it. Now, let's say you're second and one. Or let's say you're fourth and 50. And you're like, Cody, I just don't want to smart route the route. Then let me show you how to pass lead it. So I'm not going to smart route it. It, deep, it is deeper than it actually is. It looks deeper than it is. So look, on the cut, wait, 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 now throw. Wait until he crosses that safety's face, otherwise it's a pick. Wait until he crosses that safety's, uh, safety's face, otherwise it is a pick every single time. So super, super important. But this play is so fun. Um, this play will beat everything, man. This play will beat everything that they do. This play will kill it. I guarantee you this is such a good... It is such a good concept. Um, it's so easy to run, too. It's so smooth. Um, you're left. You're literally left, middle, right. Now, cover four, sit, 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 sit. And then you can check it upfield. Now, cover four will do an interesting job. Um, cover four is, I think, the best chance um, that they're going to have. Maybe a Tampa two. Um, but the reason why, but what we can do to attack it is that's where you have smart routed. And I, I totally got thrown a sack. Um, good old Brady. Let me show you uh, cover four. So cover four drop. Or cover four with zone drops, basically. So I'm smart around the circle so he gets underneath. Watch that inside quarter, inside quarter, inside of it. Dot. Okay. You got like a CD Lamb or a Brandon Ayuk with uh, mid in elite. Put him right there. And the cool part about this offense that I think is just so good um, the reason I think this offense might just be the best offense in the game, you don't have it from both sides from trips tight end. You have it from one. This is both sides of the field. We can throw these, um, these routes. So if you are facing a cover three, a cover three bomb is like this right here. We can do that and have a cover three bomb. That comeback route is going to hold. And then I just wait, 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 pass lead up. And I threw it a little bit late. I, I, I'm not supposed to smart route it on the cover three bomb, my bad. But you can have a cover three bomb from that too. Let me show you that one more time. This is when they're like, you know, dropping everybody back. Maybe they're even dropping like 10. Okay, they're dropping everybody. Put square on a comeback, X on a streak. And then what I would honestly do with the back is just put him on an option route or a curl. Okay, because it's a this is a bomb play. And watch, circle, wait, 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 throw it. Absolute laser against cover three. Absolute laser against cover three. This is really my bomb setup. If I want to bomb cover four, the, the setup is basically the same. And let me get this guy out of the way here. Comeback route, streak, and then just watch this, watch this option route just hold. See, I watch that. Look at it. They both go over there, and now you've got this guy over the top. Brady can't get him the ball, but you you see what I'm saying. You've got 
the, the option route holds the inside quarter, uh, which is why I like an option route, uh, just to kind of hedge my bet. So this is a play that like, if you're sitting there and you're like, you know what, I need a bomb. This will be the play that I'd recommend, at least for cover three and cover four. Just roll out. You're going to throw it on the left hash right there. Pass lead up. That's what we're looking for right there. Simple. I mean, really good. Most people don't run this play, man. This play is super good. You don't have to run two drags either, by the way. Um, this, this zone will still glitch. And what I mean by that is I'm going to put a seam flat here with a hook curl and a hook curl. So I got seam flat. If that zone sucks, I'm going to put a table route. Watch, um, watch, watch square. And I wouldn't put a table. I'd probably put a wheel. But just watch the linebacker. He'll suck in on the end. See how he sucks in? And I can throw that ball quick. You see that suck in? You just throw it out there. Okay? You don't have to. You also can mesh the back. If you want to do that, you can. Um, you know, you certainly can. This is, you saw on the top, if you looked at earlier in, you saw the concept was labeled a shallow crossing concept. Um, and that's because this, you know, you've got a shallow cross and a dig route. So you can still run it like that if you want to. Um, and it's going to put stress on the user. Um, I just think the user is going to be too far or too close to be able to go get the circle receiver if you do it this way. But you certainly can. Um, so what I would do is just dra or, uh, put the running back on in route and snap the ball. And you'll see here the drag. See, seam flat still pulls it in. And the drag's open. They have to curl flat to stop a drag route. The reason that's the reason that's so bad for them, though, the same thing will happen with the running back, which is I think is actually cool. Um, so, and it might even be better with the running back in. He goes upfield. Now that's 15 yards every time. They have to seam flat to stop it, but they if they, but if they curl flat because you have a wheel route. It's a dot every time. Every time. Um, it, it just doesn't matter what... I mean, this is this is why mesh is so good when ran correctly. When understanding the concept and understanding what these routes do, um, this thing can be really, really, really good. See there? See how, the, see how that curl flat goes up with the wheel? And then I can throw that drag underneath it? If I wanted to, real quick, um, if I wanted to, let me just show this. Let me see if I can take, uh, so I got the back on a wheel, double drags, watch X, right at the numbers right there. See how I can throw that for 15, or not, for not five, but for nine? Big difference between five yards and nine yards. Big, big difference. We haven't even talked about man coverage yet. Let's talk about man coverage for just a second, and then we'll be, uh, we'll let you guys get out of here. So man coverage, more than likely it's going to be that. Uh, man coverage is actually okay for the most part. Um, but these drags will get open. Um, this X one specifically is the one you're wanting to hit against man. Now, if you're getting um, if you're getting a lot of man, there's a simple little trick that you can use. So like if you're getting a lot of press man. So let's just say you're getting, you know, I'm just getting so much press man, maybe they're even sending pressure. Okay? Um, something simple you can do is this right here. Just motion the drag across and throw it that way okay the other thing about press man is if you're getting it that's where I like to use the running back I love using the running back against press man it's so simple they it just it's gonna be hard for people to keep up with him I've got Zeke I've got Reggie Reggie Bush and Mutt. Um, that's gonna be a hard hard play for them to be able to make just just simple running back in route pass lead left let him run get a couple yards um, those are two easy ones. And then the other thing that you can do with this against man, this is with press man, which they should not be in if they're playing this. But if they are in press man, um, your circle receiver on the inside cut should get open, especially if that's 90 plus route running. If you have 90 plus route running, which at this point in the year, most people have that in their mutt team, that's going to be good. And then the square receiver on the dig is going to beat man if you leave that dig out there. So you've got a lot of opportunity to just work the ball. Um, if they're running off man, you're going to have a field day. If they are running off man, you will have a field day with man coverage if they're running off man. Every route wins in that case. X is wide open on the drag for a quick four to five to six. 
the back will be wide open. The only route that doesn't win on this, um, on like a, like a shaded up man is the wheel. Uh, but just keep an eye on the wheel here for a second. You see that he lights up. The slot o -matic actually will light up here. So if you try to aggressive catch it, you might have a shot. One other little thing about this, and these is like, you know, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't like hang your hat on this. But let me just go through this wheel route real quick with you on this. Because you got your double drag, so it's going to beat man. You got your back. Um, if your back's on a table route, he'll beat man. If he's on a wheel, he won't. So like you'll see here, if he's on a table route, snap, throw out there quick. You get six yards. Here you got your skinny post um, over the middle of the field against man. So you've got that going for you. So you've got pretty much everything you need, I think, to beat man. Um, if, you're, if, you, if you know it's going to be man, Okay, so let's say you know it's going to be me. Then what I would do is I would actually take the R1 receiver. Um, I would actually go back to PAY receiver, and I would just motion over R1, put him on a drag. Now every route beats man. Now every route, regardless of what they do, is going to beat man. So if you know it's man or you got a really good feeling they're going to run man, do that. Um, but then last thing I want to go over is just this slot uh, fade or slot wheel. Uh, I think this there's more to be more of a discussion to be had on this. This is going to probably be a lot better in Madden 22, but in Madden 21, it's just not where we want it to be. But you'll see here. You see how he out. You see how he um, lights up. When he lights up, if you throw an outside pass lead, this is specifically for like slotomatic or whatever, or maybe short out a lead or something like on the cut. If you um, if you throw an outside pass lead like right there click on you can you might need to high point it but you can kind of get it over the top on but it's not like over the top in the sense of like a one play touchdown it's more of almost like a back shoulder type of route and again it's not something i would do every play it's not something i would hang my hat on um we might not even be able to get it to work here in practice mode, but like high ball click on like kind of in that area but i can't get him to animate so you know anyway just don't throw it against man it's fine if they shade down um, one thing I will say, though, is I get a lot of this when I run this right here. But they shade it down. Okay, so they shade down. Watch the wheel route. Shade it down. Now it's like verticals from bunch. And now he gets on top of him, and he can go make a play if they do that. This is one little way that I can basically combat people who like to go shaded down man on me. Uh, without putting this guy in a deep blue. So if this guy's in a, it doesn't really matter, um, even if he's in a 25-yard zone, if I have enough time in the pocket here, you'll see that R1's going to get on top of his guy. There he gets on top of him. Now just throw it over the top, click on, let him go run and get it, and Brady can't get him the ball. But you see he has a step on him. So that's one little thing that you can do from this, really underrated, because what it does is it just puts you in a really good spot if they decide that what they're going to do is they're going to run shaded down man. If they run shaded down man on a wheel route, that wheel route should, as you can see, get over the top. I just don't know why Brady can't get it out there. But anyway, it does get over it. Um, you, you need a gunslinger quarterback to get it to him. But if you're in mutt and you got a gunslinger and they take this safety away, Maybe they're going to do, you know, I don't even know what they're going to do, but they're going to do something. And they take, there's no safety help on the right. Um, but they have that roll to take away circle. Just get this out there. See how it says out of range. I think that's the problem. That's what we're looking for right there. So, anyways, you see what I'm talking about. You can kill Shaded Down Man. So, if the, if the, if the receiver gets on top of him, um, then, you know, you're going to be able to hit this, uh, hit this route against this coverage. But if they're if they're shading up, then now you can work your underneath routes. So it gives you freedom to be able to work all these other concepts. Um, let me just show you. If it's cover zero, he should stay on top. Yeah, you see he does stay on top there. So if shaded down, you're, you'll notice your guy's over in front. Shaded up, he'll stay on top. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get the full gun tray open offensive guide, you can get that down in the description uh, for just five bucks. I put a link for you to be able to go sign up for that. So just go sign up, grab the guide, and let me know what you think.